Every industry has terms that we use on a regular basis, but the average person doesn't know what we're talking about. In real estate, we're talking about an NOF, a Form 244, a whole bunch of things like this. Here is Guy Borg, who will go into a little bit more details about the terms that are used when getting a mortgage. Thank you, Jean. So today I'm going to talk to you about some of the language that you'll hear and some of the language that you'll see when looking up information on residential mortgages. I'm going to talk about three things in specific. Term, amortization, and payment frequency. So first let's talk about the term. So the term of the mortgage, that is the term that you are, that you are choosing for your rate. You're going to lock into a specific term and an interest rate. The longer the term, the higher the rate. The reason being is, is that when we're providing you the stability of knowing your interest rate for a longer period of time, we're taking, as, an, as a bank, we're taking a bigger spread on that because we're providing you more of a service. The shorter the term, the lower the rate. The higher the term, the higher the rate. So when you come in to talk about mortgages, you, you have to choose a term, a two-year term, a three-year term, a four-year term. Basically, all that's saying is, is that you're locking into an interest rate. That interest rate will not change for the amount of years that you select. Second thing, amortization. The amortization is the amount of time that's going to take you to pay off that entire mortgage over the life. So the longer the amortization, the smaller the payment. But the smaller the payment being, the longer it's going to take you to pay off that mortgage. So most people go with a 25-year amortization. So what that tells you is, is that everything being equal, if you keep at this current payment structure, it will take you 25 years to pay off that entire mortgage, principal and interest. With conventional mortgage, you can go up to 30 years. With high ratio mortgages, you can go to the maximum is 25 years. And we'll talk more about conventional and high ratio at another, at another time. The third thing is payment frequency. So payment frequency is how, how often you make a payment on your mortgage. You can go bi-weekly, every two weeks, semi-monthly, which is the first and the 15th of every month, or you can go monthly. The amount of interest that you pay over the life of the mortgage, irregardless of the term or the payment frequency, doesn't change. I always tell clients, go with what works best for you. Go with what's convenient. If you get paid every two weeks, go bi-weekly. If you get paid every month, go monthly. So those are the three things I wanted to discuss with you today. Term, amortization, and payment frequency. If you have any questions, give me a call anytime. It's Guy Bork at RBC Royal Bank, 613-799-5199. Thanks.